the swine flu that's been identified in Mexico and then subsequently in the United States and other countries does appear to have the potential for person-to-person -person transmission, which makes it uh, different than the swine flu viruses we've encountered in years past. Dr. John Ganan is an infectious disease expert at UAB. He says while the number of confirmed cases in the U.S. is small, caution is still warranted. We know that in Mexico there were a number of deaths related uh, to infection with the swine flu virus. We haven't seen that uh, level of severity yet in the United States, yet I, th I think there is still significant reason for concern that this is a new virus that the population has not encountered before and that uh, could have the potential for pandemic spread. Dr. Ganan says the swine flu spreads the same way as seasonal flu. Using precautions like washing hands is your best weapon against infection. Concern and uh, things that we can all do to try to prevent any risk of influenza transmission are things like staying home from work or school if you're ill. Uh, if you're around someone who has uh, a respiratory infection that could be influenza, uh, keep your distance. Be sure to do lots of hand washing. If you yourself are sick, uh, appropriately dispose of, uh, of tissues and try to maintain good, uh, good hygiene to avoid transmitting viruses to uh, family members or colleagues. Dr. Ganan says that early identification of the virus is key and will help to limit human exposure. The epidemic has been identified at a fairly early stage. Uh, uh, steps have been taken to control the spread of the virus by attempting to, uh, to isolate patients, to cohort patients in certain ways to prevent transmission. And so I think that uh, early identification and very prompt public health response can go a long way to limit the spread of this epidemic. And is there something